Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. I have another sponsored gameplay video for you. This is called Air Strife Assault of the Aviators. So it's a new take on the shoot 'em up genre. Uh, there's an, a new gameplay mechanic that they've did with this. It's an Alirion role, I guess basically the barrel role, but it's typically not done in shoot 'em up. So it helps you evade the enemy bullets and missiles instead of just kind of like flying to the side up down left or right so we're gonna check out this game it does also have a weapon system where missiles are limited the ammo the planes are limited so there's a fair amount of strategy here it did seem like a nice old school type of game which is why i wanted to check it out you're able to change weapons in your hangar there's all sorts of different uh, mechanics such as blueprint blueprints for research for more planes and weapons as you progress um and all the planes are military inspired. The theme itself is kind of a more realistic setting. It's not like sci-fi, like over there, over the top. So full disclosure again, sponsored gameplay video. I do have a link in the description down below. Should you be interested in checking the game out? So yeah, here we go. We are going to um, play it and uh, check the game out. Let's enter my name, eight. B, I, oop, nope, that is not what I wanted. Eight bit. Choose my difficulty. We will do normal. Now, before you head out to war and blow up enemy planes and conquer areas, we'd like to give a free reminders on how to be a, a better aviator. So in game, press A to roll. So you have a barrel roll. Your planes are able to evade and dodge bullets and missiles by using the Alirion roll of your plane. I'm just going to say barrel roll. However, you cannot dodge enemy planes. You can change the guns and missiles of your plane in the hangar. There's no changing of weapons while in a mission. You may select or change a certain loadout by choosing which weapon. Okay. Alright guys, let's do this. Um, ooh, let's just be the jet. I can already tell you I love the graphics. It's like a 16-bit style. So movement, shoot, shoot, fire, fire, roll. Okay. All right, and I can feel haptic feedback on my controller already. So that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Wow, so I died right away. There's no life bar, it's one hit. And it looks like you can play up to four players. That's pretty legit. Alright, so I have a missile. Now I'm wondering Do I get to keep Do I get to keep my money that I earn? Like even though I died, do I get to keep the money that I earn? That's what I wanna know. Maybe it has like a little bit of a roguelike element to it. Where even though I died, I can use the money I earned to upgrade. Am I over Vietnam right now? Alright. Just want to be careful. Not destroying some enemies will make them go back and attack you. Okay. Use Aileron, Aileron rolling to evade bullets and missiles. So I'm doing. Oh, that enemy came from behind. All right, let's see the headquarters. Let's see if you save your money. So if you save your money, if your money saves up, it'd be easy to upgrade, right? Fast forward to 24 years later. The year is now 2045. Humanity's living in the midst of a post-apocalyptic world. Supplies are scarce. Knowledge is even rarer. The vast majority of military planes, weapons, and elders were destroyed in the Third World War. The nuclear war. Most of the blueprints of the planes and weapons have been destroyed. You're left with a single plane and a couple weapons now. I must look for blueprints to get better planes and weapons. While a short period of peace preceded the destruction, the remaining global forces quickly scrambled behind each other's backs to dominate the new route to power. 
The skies, whoever controlled the air, controlled the world. So, hmm. Research. I do not have any money. So your money does not save. <laughs> you learned that the hard way. All right. Campaign, explore, tutorial. So explore mode. Alpha. Let's see the difference between explore mode. Is explore mode just kind of the single mission itself? I do love. Whoa. I do love the uh, the graphics. Jesus Christ, this game is hard. <laughs> Let's exit. And, uh, let's start a new game. Because I suck at video games, y'all. We're going to sit here for 45 minutes and watch me suck. Like Shady J's mom. I can't even hit. There we go. We're going to do normal. <laughs> I mean, easy. We're going to do easy mode. Just because, uh. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Alright. We're going to do easy mode just because I'm having a little eensy weensy bit of trouble. trouble saying that word so much. There we go. Well, easy mode is definitely easy. Keep on and use the shoulder buttons to do the barrel roll. There we go. Killing it. What islands are these? Vietnam? What islands are they supposed to be? Ah, oh, did I beat the stage? Wow. So I am not completely useless. I was able to beat one stage. <clears throat> and now it fast forwards. Hmm. Very interesting, guys. So fast forward 24 years later, 2045. I wonder if there will be a, a world war by 2045. Who knows? Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's go to the hangar. Um, we have that. Research. Should we do planes or weapons? Blueprints, parts. Okay, I don't have any blueprints yet. So, all right, we're a member of the Royal Ace Faction, an independent army specializing in aerial attacks with experienced pilots, up to date weapons from well trained engineers. Uh, 
Oh, I don't have any other any other planes. Oh, because I was left with a single plane. Alright. Look at all these fishers. Are those like fishing boats? Underneath? I love the music. This definitely is giving me a little bit of like 1942 vibes. Combined with a little bit of a UN squadron. Just a dash of that. Too bad. Granted, this is on easy mode. <laughs> Granted, it was on easy mode, but hey, we got an achievement unlocked. All right, I can get behind that. Can you dig it? We can dig it. Can y'all dig it? We can dig it. Can I dig it? Your new recruit reveals some important intel regarding the whereabouts of a largely undefended airfield beyond enemy nines. In order to mount a fight, you'll need bigger, more modern aircraft capable of wiping out huge numbers of enemy planes. Oh, I'm still just stuck to one. to end or your pizza hut <laughs> just like kamikaze into me Jesus <laughs> Remember to use my role. That's the problem. Is that I'm not. I'm just taking the hits and I should not. I should not be just taking the hits. I need to actually. Oh, that's where I died last time. scare me. Warning. 
journey. Getting a, uh, a boss fight? What's going on here? Jesus. That was definitely a boss fight. <laughs> Do I get a checkpoint? Checkpoint? Anything? No? <laughs> Alright. some you lose some right I just gotta get better at using my my role wow I forgot about homie Am I ever going to beat this stage? <laughs> I had no weapon upgrades. And I'm playing on easy mode. There we go. I just got to avoid getting hit. Well, obviously, Eric. do good here. I think I got this by the ass, guys. Oh, you gotta watch out for homie. I would have preferred to actually shoot down those guys. Like, it wasn't letting me roll. It wasn't letting me shoot a missile. What the hell was going on there? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Easy mode my butt. It wasn't even letting me roll or anything. Like, I was just trying to get out of the fucking way. Guys, man, it almost seems like your roll is not quick enough. There. Wait, did I take a hit? How did I get hit?
don't understand how I got hit, but I did. We're trying one more time before I throw my controller. <laughs> before I throw my controller to my computer screen. that comes out what's this looking like I'm doing look when that happens does it look like you can shoot it we can go to headquarters let's see if there's anything I can do to actually I cannot buy anything oh wait equip Search planes. I'm not. I don't have anything I can do. Uh, you know what? Let's try explore mode. I have no idea what explore mode does compared to what regular mode does. Is it different? I quite frankly am having a hell of a time beating that enemy in that one area. Easy mode my butt. I wish you could move a lot faster, like if there was an option, but I guess that's why you need to upgrade your planes. Found a blueprint. So I guess maybe, hopefully. See, I think you could accidentally shoot your health. I think you could accidentally shoot the health power up that comes out. Which I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> All right, so. Damn, some of these planes just take forever. Like when you're trying to shoot them. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, this is a very challenging game. I'm, I guess I suck. I'm sure if you're a, a pro at shoot em ups might be able to do this one but I just feel I feel the plane that you're with right now is way way underpowered for these guys look how much they can shoot and then you can't even back up fast enough 
like your plane doesn't move that fast to where you can back up and then I hate that look like I just shot the, the health power up look like why does the health power up destroy you, don't you see them like when the plane explodes I bet you that blueprint I found does not save. Why would they do it where if you uncover something that does not save? Like, honestly, your, your shit, whatever you uncover, even if you die, should save. <laughs> like, like, you have to complete a whole mission in order to find, to keep something that you find at the beginning? I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I, I get where they're going with it, but if you find a blueprint, you should be able, like whatever blueprint and money you get dying, you should, you should be able to use it at headquarters. Like that's, that's pretty brutal. Like if I found a blueprint right now and I died, I should at least be able to at very least keep the blueprint. That way I'm not stuck with the crappy weapon until until I manage to beat a stage you know like the upgrading should be a lot more forgiving I guess if I was to say that if I was going to give any criticism the rest of the game is awesome like the graphics are awesome the soundtrack is amazing I get the whole idea with the barrel roll but if you're going to be easy if you're going to do an easy mode <laughs> Like, I'm playing on easy, and it's still pretty challenging. I guess get good, right? Definitely has an old school feel to it. shouldn't be able to destroy your power up. I guess that that missile that was shot destroys your ability to use your weapons. I get to complete the mission finally god damn was that ever hard so I got a new plane available let's go ahead and go to it we're gonna use that let's go to the mission stage three Alpha. Oh, nope. Alpha. we're gonna do that baby Stage three, y'all. This plane seems even slower even though it's a jet. What gives? <laughs> the other plane seems much faster. Oh, fuck. 
I just need some health. Goodness. Let's go back to that other plane. <laughs> this plane, this plane seemed faster and more efficient than the actual jet. I don't know. It could be me though. Yeah, it definitely seems. Wow. <laughs> oh, those guys came at me pretty good right there, did they not? Wow. See, that guy's uh, missiles are just way too intense. It did take me a few tries the last level to uh, to at least beat it. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll take me a few tries of this level. I gotta remember I have missiles too. I need to start using those. Guys, this game is a lot harder than it looks. I'm gonna be honest. It uh, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Let's try again. Those are the guys that will screw you up. Straight up.
Well, I guess maybe you can't destroy them. I don't know. Sometimes it looks like there's gonna be a, a HP or like a little health thing and then it disappears. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so we got past that. Now we're at mission four. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this game. Stressing me out, y'all. See, don't you see sometimes when you destroy a plane, a green orb shows up that looks like the power-ups. So, like, are you able to destroy your power-up or not? That's what, that's what I want to know. Let's try one more round. That guy, that guy was crazy. Wow, I actually made it past that part. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So the time has come for the final battle to destroy their weapon. You manage to push the enemy back, chase them through the sky. Every single aircraft and weapon at your disposal is committed to this final push as you look to end the enemy once and for all. Alright guys, let's do it. Final battle of this stage. Major annoyance. Ah, one more run. Let's do one more run.
I was doing good there. Well, you know, overall, pretty neat little game. Definitely challenging. There's a lot of campaign exploration, tutorial, teaches you everything. The hangar, the research. I mean, there's a lot to this game, definitely, for sure. Has a very good old school vibe to it. Um, definitely an arcade feel that is like... <laughs> takes you back to the old school days of gaming. And the challenge definitely takes you back to the old school days as well. Uh, I do like the graphics. Kind of has that... Uh, I wouldn't say SNK vibe to it, but this definitely looks like something you would have played in the arcade. You know, like the late, the late 80s, early 90s. Some you would have seen like a Pizza Inn or Pizza Hut. You know, an obscure shoot 'em up that you never heard of, that you just find in the back corner of the pizzeria. That's the vibe I get from it. It does definitely have that one more time factor. <laughs> like where I'm like, okay, one more time. Let's go ahead and play it. I mean, I've been sitting here playing it for a good chunk of time. Albeit, <laughs> I've died so many times as well. But it does have a lot of fun. I got to remember to use the roll. So the roll is the main com companion. Uh, component of defense as well as the missiles I'm not using those enough but I mean as with any game the more you play it the more you practice it the better you will definitely get at one point right and uh, here we go ah game over I just want to beat this game <laughs> definitely 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 a lot of fun let's do one more just just for just for old time's sake You could die by hitting that? <laughs> God. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. A lot of fun. I had a good time checking this game out. There will be a link in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much.